Hello everybody, Infernape Shinjo here, and welcome back to the next episode of Let's Talk Anime. And finally, I'm here to discuss things that you guys have suggested. I know it's been a long time, and honestly the only reason is I just haven't had time to watch. Between finishing up last season of anime, and watching all 51 episodes of Digimon Tamers, and adding in work, it's very rare that I was able to even get free time to watch some of this stuff. But, I finally got time, and now I'm going to discuss them. So, first topic for today is Yokai Watch. And, I know that a lot of people have said Yokai Watch is the new Pokemon. Just like how a lot of people back in the day said that Digimon was a ripoff of Pokemon, or maybe vice versa. I don't remember. But, Honestly, I watched the first episode, and even though I can see similarities to Pokemon, it does still have its own brand, I guess to call it. I guess the only way that I can really explain it is by going through the episode that I watched. Basically, I think his name is Nathan, but I'm probably just going to call him Nate because it's easier to say. But Nate finds this capsule vending machine sort of thing in the woods because that's where you put them obviously and a ghost comes out named Whisper and he basically explains that every single thing that happens with humans is the work of a yokai like in the first episode his parents are having a little spat and there's a yokai there that basically builds up the tension and honestly I like the concept that these yokai are basically I don't want to compare it to it, but the anti-fairies from Fairly Odd Parents, because I still remember that Friday the 13th episode that they had, where the anti-fairies come into the real world and start causing bad luck for everybody, and obviously nobody can see them. But I like that idea that it's some sort of outside force that is causing all of this stuff to happen to you. But like I was mentioning before, let me just dispel this rumor right now. Yokai Watch is nothing like Pokemon. Yokai Watch is its own thing. Well, let me not say nothing like Pokemon because there are some connections, but as far as I've seen, Nate doesn't go out on a journey or anything like that. I would assume that he just stays at home for the series and every episode is a Yokai of the Day situation. I only watched episode 1, so that's not the best judge of anything, but I'm just guessing. But all of that did kind of tie into a pro that I wrote down. So the other pro that I wrote down is it did make me laugh a couple of times. Like when Whisper is explaining that he can do whatever Nate wants. Meanwhile, Nate's just walking away and he's just like, hey, where are you going? I'm offering you anything that you want and you don't want it. But the things that I didn't like about it, or should I say thing that I didn't like about it, is episode one. There was one minor scene that I wish they wouldn't have censored. In the scene, Jibanyan is talking about how he and his owner just always relaxed at home, and it shows Jibanyan sleeping under a futon, but Jibanyan calls it a table instead. Now I know that some English speaking audiences might not know what a futon is, but I would assume that with Yokai Watch, they're going to have it set in Japan, so if they would, that would just be cool if they would have kept some of the Japan in the show. I don't know. Again, I've only seen episode one, so that's not the best judge of anything. But I don't intend on watching any more of the series because by the time I catch up with the series, I'll be old and gray. And the next topic for today is actually not an anime. I can't remember who suggested this. It's been a while since I've even touched these suggestions. But this one is about Kiss Anime being attacked or something like that. I don't know, I tried looking it up online, I couldn't find like any concrete news, obviously it's just an internet site to watch anime so they wouldn't cover it on regular news channels, but 
from what I can understand, Kiss Anime was basically under attack, not sure if it still is, and they were forcing people to put in, like, CAPTCHAs to prove they're not robots or something like that. And from what I can understand, there was some sort of hacking going on behind the scenes, but I don't know what was going on. From the few different notes online that I did see, but I'm not going to link any of them because I don't think they're that reliable. But from what I've seen and the notes that I've seen online, it might be possible to download anime from Kiss Anime. That's what I've seen from the notes that people were leaving, but... Of course, that's not exactly reliable, so I don't know if the downloading was the cause of this or it was just some sort of hacking on the inside. I don't know. I guess I should have started this by saying that I don't even watch anime through Kiss Anime, so that shows why I'm not that familiar with it. But I don't know. I can't really form a concrete opinion on any of this without knowing who caused the hacking, why they caused the hacking any of the stuff like this if anything that I said is accurate which it probably isn't so that basically covers that but I'm going to end today with something a little different obviously it's an anime that I'm watching but this time it's an anime that I'm watching that I haven't even finished yet the last couple of times in let's talk anime where I mentioned an anime that I watched for you to watch yourself it was always when I finished the anime, but this time, I'm only five episodes into it. I guess I should mention what the anime is. The anime that I'm watching is Kill La Kill. And I gotta be honest, with a title like that, I wouldn't think that I would love the show as much as I do, but I really do. And like I said, I'm only five episodes in, so I guess you could call this my first impressions of it, but... There's this main character, Ryuku Ryoko. I can't remember. I'm just gonna call her Matoi because that's her last name. But basically, somebody killed her father and she's going to this school that has the answers or might have the answers or something like that. Meanwhile, Satsuki is sitting at the top of this pedestal and is basically ruling this school with an iron fist. And everybody has Goku uniforms which I just love because every time I hear it I think of Dragon Ball Z but these Goku uniforms can basically power up people and make them stronger than they normally would be which I love that explanation because with Dragon Ball Z it's just like oh, okay these people are basically aliens so it's obvious that they would be stronger but when it comes to regular anime where these people are just like super strong at least with Kill a Kill it does explain it. It's not really that they're super strong on their own. It's the outfits. Now there are a couple of scenes in it that I feel might be fan servicey, and by a couple of scenes I mean basically any time that anybody activates their outfit because most of the time they're half naked. Which is kind of strange but doesn't really take that much away from the show for me. Plus, it's done by Studio Trigger, and I absolutely love their work on Little Witch Academia, and it makes it even more hilarious that both of these shows are done by the same person, because the main character in the dub is voiced by the same person. Akko and Matoi are the same voice actress in the dub, and I just love that. Because in Little Witch Academia, you got basically sweet, naive Akko that's just a clueless person sometimes but then you got Matoi in Kill a Kill that's like super edgy kind of a rebel so I just love that they take the same voice actress and use her for both roles but obviously since I've only watched five episodes of it I can't really say much else I really love the show I will be very open to discussing this again when I get finished with the show so if you be into that, make sure to let me know. But that is going to be the end of today's video. Make sure to let me know if you enjoyed it by hitting that like button and subscribing so you don't miss another episode of this. Make sure to leave me any suggestions for Let's Talk Anime down in the comment section. And I promise that I'll get to them faster than I have with these 
requests so far. But that is going to be it for this video, so I'll see you in the next one. Momentai! Bye bye, yes,